Greetings fellow Pulton Masses, I'm Crash Rouse, and you're watching part 2 of a 6 part series of me showing off my entire collection, it's Giants time! But, if you're confused me like, what Giants? Oh jeez, I missed Sparrow's Adventure, or I was trying to find Trap Team for some apparent reason. And you somebody clicked on episode 2, well, I got some good news for you. In the description below, all 6 parts are down there, when they're uploaded that is. Because right now, if you're watching this in like the order they're being uploaded, the other 4 parts in there. So if you're trying to find Trap, trap Team, wait 2 days. But in the future, hey, if you're watching this in 2021, let me know. And uh, it's in the description. So it's probably there. You can watch all the videos there. Go back to part one. Go to part four for some reason. But don't watch part five if you haven't watched part three. Got it? Greetings, fellow Pulton Masters. Greetings fellow Pulse Masters, I am Crash Rouse, and once again time to Crash Counts with another episode of showing off my entire collection, part 2, it's Giants time baby. Giants was the game that came out that I basically called glorified DLC for Spyro's adventure. I literally felt it could have been just a downloadable content on it. And, not gonna lie, the hardest lock I've ever done in my life. The videos are not, as far as I know, the series isn't over yet. Is it? I'm not sure. Regardless, it's a very hard lock right now, doing the core lock. But today we're going to sit here and we're going to talk about... Oh, I can't spoil anything. I didn't realize that. Uh, we're going to talk about the Giants here. we got some stories about. I'm going to show you every single one I have, along with a little bonus. Um, it should be good. So let's get this started. So I'll start off right away with not one, not two, but three. So the third one's going to come up in a little while. Technically, in my household right now, I own five. I think I mentioned it in the video, I think I, I filmed it earlier than this because I'm dumb. Um, I was like, oh, I, I'm like, I think I have four or five. I actually have five. I have two to give away, I have two I own, and one still in the box of True Rex. True Rex is an excellent giant. If you want to introduce anyone to this game, this is the one you want to use. Which also I find really interesting about my True Rex is you look at the top of them, you'll see that this one's worn out more than this one. This is actually my newer one. Weird, huh? We have Hothead, the legend in the Drill X episode of the original Giant Lock. God, looking back at those episodes, it's wild. That was so long ago. Thump Back. We had Minjini, future episode of Summon the Darkness. Might be out by now for all I know. Of me discussing why her variant is better, which you'll see that one in a little bit. My favorite giant, sorry, spoilers for future ranking episodes, of Eyebrawl. Boomer, I mean Bouncer. I should have done that last episode, I just realized that. For those who didn't know, I uh, kept mixing up, I keep mixing up Boomer and Bouncer's names. So that's why I did that. We have Crusher with his still very loose hammer. I could probably just pull that off. I'm not going to. And last but not least, bring the sting of Swarm from the Giants. So these are all the Giants that came out. I'm going to show the variants of the Giants I have at the end. Now we're going to go to the new cores that came out from Series 2. So Series 2 did have a lot of new Skyliners. Some of them are iconic legends, staple in the Skyliners franchise. One of them is Jetvac. But I kind of respect him now. It's the only spoiler I can say. Along with that, one of my all-time favorites is Flashwing. Absolutely love Flashwing. She's she on my for, on my favorites list. She is number two. Unfortunately, she has fallen off of my top five list, but she's still in the top ten. I absolutely love Flashwing. Crash, you should do a top ten favorites challenge. No. We have Sprocket. Shout out to Tears of Rose, the only person I know who openly likes Sprocket. Why would you admit that? Sprocket is terrible. Sorry. We have the King of the Forgotten Skylanders, Fright Rider, who for some reason I keep calling Night Rider. Instead, for some reason, even though I know it's Fright Rider, but I think it's Knight with, like, K-N-I-G-H-T. Like, I don't know. I keep forgetting this guy's name, let alone that. So, that's a good start. We have one of the most underrated scholars. I don't care what anyone says of Chill. This Chill is so old, the clear parts of her is starting to turn yellow. Disgusting. We have some people's favorites. I know a line subscriber, Liam Downs' favorite, of Shroom Boom. Uh... I actually am giving away a Shroom Boom in a future episode of Complete Your Collection, and he was actually broken, but I fixed it. Oh, I was trying to figure out where they are. Here's Hot Dog. One of Jap 28's favorite colors. Shout out to Jap 28. And of course, last but not least, from the new ones, that is all the new ones, right? Yes, all the new ones is the legend Pop Fizz. 
So I do have other versions of them, so we're going to get to them now. Um, we're going to leave the variants aside for later, but I do have like light cores and stuff, so give me a second to find those light cores. Oh! Wow, I just learned something new about myself! I don't have light core chill! Because I know, I thought there was four of the new ones. There's light core shroom boom, which I have. Light core pop fizz, which I have. Shroom boom, can you stop being drunk for one second? And light core jetpack that I have, but I don't have light core chill, because there's a legendary chill. Excuse me, that's light core. News to me, I'm gonna have to get that one. I'm gonna have to mark that down now. I'm gonna have to check, up Rock, check Rock 30 Games, see what they got. Awesome, okay, news to me. Complete my collection, let's go. So that's all those, we're gonna talk about variants in a little while, but right now, a lot of Skylars were released as Series 2 in Giants, so we're gonna go through all them right now, in no particular order. Series 2 Whirlwind, shout out to Lightning Star. Series 2 Terrafin. Series 2 Light Core Hex, and I do have the regular version too, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, the regular version of Hex. So Hex has two versions, I actually bought this version because my Hex, as you've seen last video, lost its arms, well one arm at the time, so I decided to get that one. I also picked up the regular version too, I think this one is the Light Core version, this is the regular version. So, two Hexes. Actually, yeah, let's grab the ones I have two. So we have... Light Core Prism Break and Regular Prism Break, shout out to Retro Death. I think this design of Skylander, this Prism Break looks amazing. I think that's so cool looking design Skylander. Too bad I don't like him. Again, sorry Retro Death. We have Series 2 Eruptor and Series 2 Light Core Eruptor. I love the fact that his mouth blows up. I think it looks really cool and I love the spikes that Series 2 Eruptor has. He's dancing. Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. We have Series 2 Drobot and Series 2 Light Core Drobot. The little thing on his back lights up. I really like this weird fan thing that he uses with his tail. I don't see how that's kind of convenient. Does his wings not fly uh, with this? Like, are they locked in place? Does he use like jet, jet streams anyways? I'm not sure. Guys, I'm tired. Leave me alone. That's all Light Core, so now we're just going to go to regular ones. We have... This one is... Actually, this will be a double too, because I do have both of them. <laughs> double. It's double trouble, and I have double. Where are you? Anyway. So I do have two versions of a Double Trouble. I do have the Series 2 version from Giants, but I also picked up this one because it's the regular Voodoo from Spider's Adventure, but he's an orange base, which is a Giants one. I didn't know they released some Skylanders as this version, and he's one of them. So I happened to pick that up. I thought it was a, a mistake. It isn't, but I still think this is a kind of cooler find. It's something that a lot of people don't have. Um, and I also love Double Trouble's second version of that. Does Skyliners promote? Next we have Series 2 Trigger Happy with his big old Gatling Glun. Glun? Gun. We have Series 2 Lightning Rod that honestly is just his hair just got bigger. That's the only difference. Series 2 of everyone's favorite Skylander, Wrecking Ball. I love his tusk though. I think they look really, co really cute and cool. Cute and cool. Cruel. Cruel? Series 2 Flame Slinger. You enjoy that one, Jack? Series 2 Cinder, who looks like she just saw, or actually no, looks like she was about to fart, but something else came out instead. Series 2 Stump Smash, I absolutely love how just aggressive it is, you just... If I could move, I would smash you to bits! Series 2 Spyro, I think looks really cute. He's kind of goofier looking, but I still like him. Series 2 Chop Chop, shout out to Make Your Puno Shine and Gabe, I think he looks really cool actually. Series 2 Zap, which doesn't really change at all in aesthetic size, but comes with the coolest, wow, I don't know, he has longer horns, um, comes with a really, the coolest um, soul gem possible, it's for Riley, you need to go check it out, as a long time Skylander, it was a Skylander fan who unfortunately passed away, I think with cancer if I'm not mistaken, uh, I talked about it in my top five, my five Skylanders are actually awesome, so go check that one out, there's a whole story behind it, it's a beautiful story, and it's awesome that Skylanders did that for him. Series 2 Drill Sergeant. Series 2 Sonic Boom with a baby. Does Skylanders promote Series 2 Zook? Don't worry, that honestly, half hour episode will be coming up eventually, okay? Just calm down. Series 2 Igniter. Shout out to Ignite the Fire. Series 2 Slam Bam, which he just gets more aggressive looking, is the best way to describe it. The first of, no, the second of five of Gil Grunt Series 2. And of course, Series 2 of A Stealth Elf. 
besides all the Skylanders that uh, that came out for the newest game, you know I'm missing one. Don't worry, we'll get to him in a little bit. But right now I do have to show you the variants I have. I have collected a nice few variants since the last one, so this is going to be a really fun one. Most of these I got from Rock 30 Games, so you've probably already seen them in that video. If you haven't, go back and watch that one. We're going to start off with the Giants first, because those are the ones you've already seen. First of all, probably my... Actually, no, not probably. It is my favorite variant of Gnarly Tree Rex. I think Gnarly Tree Rex looks so much better than the original, even though the original does look really cool. I really like the black and blue on him, even though uh, it's not my favorite Backstreet Boys album. You got my most disappointed one of the pumpkin head eyebrow. You want to know my true disappointment and why I don't like Chase variants? Here's your reason why. I don't like the fact you put him on the portal and he's just a regular version. I want this version to play as. Why would you do that? You have Legendary Bouncer. And the hot take of Scarlet Ninjini, who looks a million times better than the regular Ninjini, in my opinion. I uh, still don't have Granite Crusher. It's not very cheap online. I may just buy it randomly just to be like, I need it for my collection. First, we're going to go through the variants now. First of all, I have two Glow in the Dark variants of Glow in the Dark Sears 2 Sonic Boom and Glow in the Dark Cinder. Glow in the Dark Cinder came with my starter pack I bought with, uh, it came with a Tree Rex and another variant you'll see in a minute. Uh, the Glow in the Dark Sonic Boom I got in the first ever episode of Skylar Hunting, where I thought I got a super duper awesome rare Skylander, but he was only like maybe six bucks at the time. I got him for four, so it wasn't really much for profit. I think he's got. I think she's gotten down now because of it. But yeah, and I used the wrong picture in the thumbnail. That was when I was a terrible YouTuber. Oh wait, nothing's changed. And speaking of the variant I got with it, we got Punch Pop Fizz, one of the Skylander dude's favorite variants actually. Absolutely love this one. I think the red looks really cool, especially when he becomes bigger. I think it looks really cool with the red variants. Uh, we have the hot dog I got before the regular hot dog with molten hot dog. So I worked at Walmart at the time, and this Skylander popped up. I remember telling my coworker, I need this Skylander. Hide him for me. He's like, I technically can't. He's like, what I'll do is I'll put it in the back in the back, ring, in the back of it. And I said, okay, when I go on break, I'm going to buy it. And I went on break, and it was still there, and I bought it. True story. I have some of the metallic green versions. You'll see another one of these in the next episode. Um, of metallic green Shroom Boom and metallic green Guild Runt. These two colors look awesome. I think they look so cool on a Skylander. Um, you know, this is, you know, the chase thing. They don't show up metallic green, but they were only a couple bucks on uh, Rock 30 Games, so I had to get them. They look awesome. I love them so much. They think they're some of the coolest looking Skylanders you can get. You know, cool looking Skylanders. Polar Whirlwind looks amazing. The sticker is still kind of on the bottom for it. Polar Whirlwind looks so clean. I love it. I think it's one of the coolest looking Skyliners out there with just that clean looking Polar Whirlwind. Um, I think Lightning Star can agree with you. This is one of the coolest looking variants out there. We'll get to the Legendaries here now. Uh, we have Legendary Slam Man, Legendary Igniter, Legendary uh, Jetpack, Legendary Light Core Chill, which I don't know the regular version, and Legendary Stealth Elf. So I don't know if I'm missing any Legendaries for them. Uh, let me know if I'm missing a legendary because I'm probably gonna look that up and maybe in the new the new year I'm gonna complete I'm gonna complete my own collection. How about that? I'm just gonna go collect some odds and ends that I don't have. And we are missing one. I do have a mini that I bought at a secondhand store. I got that's the ones that came in the Frida Lays package I mentioned last episode of Mini Ginny, and I totally love using her. No, I don't. So yeah, that's it. Alright, so there we go with my collection of giants. You know I'm missing a special, very special one, so there's going to be a little video right now showing you the one I missed and the extra tree rex. So, let's cut to that right now. So for giants, the only real double I have is still in the box of tree rex. I technically have three tree rexes. Technically I have five because I'm giving two away for completing your collection. So, um, I think I have about four or five, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be great. So I do have that one still in the box from the Xbox 360 Portal owner version. for $3 at Walmart. And of course, Series 2 Bash, the boy, the man, the myth, the legend. I love him so much. Yeah, that does it for this episode of the showing off my collection slash me figuring out how to complete my collection. I need to get a light core chill, as I found out, and some other ones that I'm missing, some odds and ends. Let me know in the comments who I'm missing. Uh, Granite Crusher and Light Core Chill are on my list. I just put them on my list in my head. Let me know who your favorite giant character is. It can be any of the Series 2, it can be any of the Giants, it can be any of the Variants, it doesn't matter to me. Let me know in the comments below. Wire down, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. It means the world to me. Tomorrow is Swap Force, so come back tomorrow. Come check that video out. It should be great. But as always, I bid you farewell.